Last year alone, nearly a million Americans went under the knife, opting for plastic surgery to make themselves look better. Surprisingly, a growing number of those seeking cosmetic surgeries are teenagers. Tonight, our medical reporter, Delta Henry, profiles three Southland teens concerned about their looks in her prime assignment, minor surgery. <laughs> Young people make up about 4% of those having cosmetic surgery. It's about 50,000 teens in the past two years. Teenagers are spending their savings or asking their parents for the thousands of dollars each surgery costs. A move that seems driven by the insecurities of adolescents and the pressure of society that focuses on looks. Sweet 16 is no longer such an innocent age. Not when teen stars like Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera have set a whole new body standard. And when teenage girls think they are supposed to look like this. Now I feel like weird. Like why aren't embarrassed almost of how flat I am. Heidi Mitchell says her underdeveloped chest makes her feel different than other girls. Diana Sorio thinks the problem is as plain as the nose on her face. I feel like everybody's staring at my nose, you know? And it's just uncomfortable. 17-year-old Parisa Soleimani says when she looks in the mirror or at a picture of herself, she doesn't see a pretty face. Just a roll of fat around her middle. I used to make fun of it and say it had like five bumps. Parisa, Heidi, and Diana are three of a growing number of teens who've made the decision to handle the pain and the expense of plastic surgery. Parisa's liposuction is a high school graduation present from her mother, who's had plastic surgery herself. Uh, she wouldn't wear shorts. She wouldn't wear a bikini, and uh, I know how she felt. You don't, you're not even nervous, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Michael Nicoli has marked the places on Parisa's body where he'll remove fat. In another surgery center, Heidi Mitchell's preparing to go from a 32A to a 34C. I'm so excited, I can't wait. <laughs> Dr. Peter Chesky will perform Heidi's surgery, but before he does, he takes photos of Heidi as she is now. She shows him some photos of how she wants to be. As surgery begins, the implants are put in place through an incision in Heidi's belly button. The doctor places them between her muscle and chest wall, inflates them with air to check their size, then fills them with saline. Doctors performing plastic surgery on teens say they have to be extra careful with their younger patients, not for physical reasons, but for emotional ones. They have to choose their patients very carefully and ask some tough questions. But the parents are sometimes part of the problem. The parents are pushing the children to achieve. They're pushing them to be popular. They're pushing them to be successful. And so the the teenager may interpret that pressure as I need Party to be perfect for uh, more friends, a uh, better position or a presidency in the school uh, election. That's probably the wrong reason. Diana says a new nose will change the way she feels. In the operating room, Dr. Chesky removes what used to be the bump on her nose. Then he breaks the bones to make her nose more narrow. Just a half hour after the surgery, Diana's face is swollen and bruised. But four weeks later, she looks like a different person.